Good afternoon and welcome to this tribute to Joseph Bloch. It's difficult for me and I know many others to believe that Jimmy's iconic presence will no longer grace the halls of the Juilliard School. Everything about Jimmy had style and engagement manifested in his keen intellect, his brilliant wit, and his passion for music. For five decades, Jimmy was an indispensable teacher of piano literature to generations of Juilliard pianists. His influence was pervasive and powerful, and all this was accomplished without his teaching a single private piano lesson. Jimmy addressed the famous and the obscure in his courses, examining Mozart concerti, Chopin mazurkas, and Beethoven sonatas, as well as music of his beloved Alcon and other less well-known composers. Joseph Meyer Bloch was born in Indianapolis on November 6, 1917. He earned a bachelor's degree from the Chicago Musical College and after service in Guam with the Army Air Forces in World War II, he received a master's degree in musicology from Harvard. He was the head of the piano department at the University of Denver when he was engaged by William Schumann in 1948 to teach at Juilliard. Jimmy made his town hall debut in 1950 and toured extensively throughout the United States and abroad as a soloist. My fondest memories of Jimmy have to do with music and with food. I would frequently sit next to him during piano recitals, and he was charmingly instantaneous in telling me the name of the evening's encores before the soloist moved on to the second measure of the work. A gentleman with a sophisticated palate for food, wine, and single malt scotch he often frequented a wonderful French restaurant in Rye, close to his home in Larchmont. The owner of the restaurant, Jacques Lupiac, who I believe is with us this afternoon, told me that he once greeted Jimmy and said, Mr. Bloch, you come here so often. I think in the long run, it might be more economical if you just bought the restaurant. Jimmy's intellect and wit were sources of great delight to all who knew him. In a wonderful article in the Wall Street Journal by Stuart Isikoff, who will be speaking presently, he quotes the pianist and teacher Robin McCabe, who in speaking of Jimmy's jocular manner said, quote, Jimmy was once telling me about a course on list he was planning to teach, and I asked how he was going to organize all that repertoire. By mistress, he replied. The Juilliard community remembers with great fondness and warmth Jimmy's beloved wife, Dana, and we express our deepest condolences to his daughter, Leslie, his two sons, John and Andrew, Andy, his sister, Frances, and his seven grandchildren. Jimmy will be deeply missed by us all, but his legacy continues to live on in every pianist who studies at the Juilliard School today and in the time ahead. I have been asked by our first uh, pianist, Joseph Smith, to just say a little bit about the work that he uh, will be performing. Jimmy was an early and avid champion of the music of Charles Valentin Alcon. When Jimmy wrote his dissertation on Alcon in 1941, this important romantic composer was virtually forgotten. Joseph Bloch was, in fact, only three degrees of separation from Alcon. He studied with Olga Samarov, who had studied with Elie Delaborde, who was not just a protege of Alcon, but also his unacknowledged son, Joseph Smith. <laughs> Thank you. 